Hey, hi, it's Jim. Good afternoon. It's Sunday. Um, I want to do a video, which is a little trip down memory lane for me, um, back to my formative years in the mid-1980s. Um, I think I've alluded onto the, on this channel before that I used to listen to a lot of music, uh, a lot of Iron Maiden, Rush, uh, Pink Floyd, um, all sorts of stuff. Uh, but one of my all-time favourite bands back then, and I still listen to from time to time now, was a band called The Cult. Uh, who I guess they were sort of a bit of a goth band when they started, um, before they became this uh, transatlantic straddling rock goliath that they eventually became. Um, and they, f what, what was the band they were? There was a band I think it was called Southern Death Cult was the original band, uh, which then dissolved into uh, the Cult, just purely the Cult, and. Um, their second album was called Love, and it spawned a sort of couple of really huge records. Uh, she Sells Sanctuary, which I think is absolutely synonymous with uh, God knows what. It's, it's been used over and over and over again in all sorts of things on TV and adverts. Um, it's always the staple at the end of the indie disco, um, the last song that goes on. And cover bands tend to have it as their last song as, a, as, a, um, as an encore. Um, and also Rain, I think that was another really, really big song from this album. But the one that always got me was a track called Brother Wolf, Sister Moon, uh, which was never a single. It was too long. It was uh, a touch over seven minutes. Um, and as such, there was never a video made for it. So the video that I found for it, I think, is a fan-made video. Um, I'm going to start this now while I'm just finishing talking, because as it plays, there's nothing at the beginning here. And then the video starts to come in afterwards. So this is the cult with Brother Wolf, Sister Moon. <laughs> Absolutely, I just love this. I hope you do too. See you guys on the other side.
guitar solos. Goosebumps with this. If you don't know the cult, and this is your first uh, listen to their music, um, I really, really recommend you go and uh, go and listen to some of their stuff. The album Love, uh, which I think was about 1984 or 85, somewhere around there, is brilliant. It's really, really good. It's a little bit jangly in places, um, but um, they then did uh, an album after that called Electric, which was a real homage to sort of Led Zeppelin, I think, and uh, sort of riff-based guitar music. It was quite heavy, and they progressively got heavier and heavier and heavier. Um, always on the side of rock rather than metal, I think, but s- astoundingly good. Billy Duffy, who's the uh, guitarist in the cult, um, I don't know why he doesn't get name checked more because I think he is a bloody bloody brilliant guitarist. And uh, Ian Ashbury, who's the uh, singer, is a bit of an acquired taste. Um, but once you've got your head round how he sounds and your ear is tuned in, it kind of works for their music. It's good. It's good. So until the next video, I'll see you guys then. This is Jim Orber and out.